Hey guys, it's your girl Paige and today's video is going to be can you make glue a face mask? So pretty much all you need is like some PV glue, you know? <laughs> um, I've just finished filming, like, I don't even know what I'm going to call it yet. It was, I was basically saying how like, what could happen when I do get a thousand subscribers and like how much it's going to help me and like, how much YouTubers like help me gain confidence because I did get bullied like so much for it and i still do now people just like watch the videos for fun in lessons which is like really disrespectful for me but like not only to me like to the teachers because they're not actually doing their work and like so many people would love to have an education and it was kind of like that so yeah but like at the end of the day like it makes me laugh though because when i do get to a thousand subscribers i am going to get paid for all like my previous views so, like my 30k videos and all that kind of stuff but then like the more they watch it as a laugh and a joke the more well not the more money i'm gonna get paid but like i'll be getting paid for them watching it so then they're technically like just making me get more money so that'll be their problem and they don't even like me so like to be honest they don't have the guts like to go and do it and but i do but and so they're gonna bully me because they're too scared to do something which is like that stupid and silly but anyway we're gonna try and make a face mask out of glue and see if it actually works and it probably does not do anything but like who finds it really satisfying when you do have glue on your hand and you just like love to be off because i do also i'm going to be seeing if i can do my eyebrows with a cotton bud now i've not tried it actually and my eyebrows are kind of like thick so i don't know but we're gonna give it a go so let's get on with the video so guys we're gonna start off with like a tiny bit on this this one feels really weird and gooey. We're gonna just apply it to our face and this one's like kind of clear. But like I don't wanna apply it too thick because I do want it to dry. You can kind of see it there. Oh my god. I hate it, like I hate the feel of it. It feels like so horrible. <laughs> Just ew. Think. Who likes The Greatest Showman, guys? Because I love it. It is amazing. Like, I'm constantly doing dances to it and just just everything. And Zendaya just wows us. Also, comment down below if you watch Miranda Sings. This is a bit random. But, like... I can't wait till she actually comes on a UK tour because I love her so much. My friend Anita loves her so much because she's like, she's just so hilarious. So you can kind of see it. And also the thumbnail is going to be this. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm joking, guys. It's just, like, what should I do? Like, I used to actually have a thumbnail app, but I don't know what happened to it. I think it just died. So <laughs> that is just so weird and not normal. Right, so okay i'm gonna apply some more i think i'm just gonna do a time lapse to save you guys watching it because my eyebrows are gonna take like a bit of a while if i'm gonna do it as a cotton bud so cue the time lapse guys so guys that's that finished it looks really shiny and really weird and horrible but i'm actually gonna wait for this oh this has gone in my hair i'm gonna wait for this to dry and once i'm gonna wait for this dry to dry i'm gonna actually talk to you guys about something um so basically what has like gone on with like my exclusion as i think i did a video like maybe two weeks ago about it um that I was supposed to go back to school on the Thursday. I didn't end up going back on the Thursday. Um, yeah, just for some reason something happened. My mum did go in for a meeting and it was just like, no. So then I got a, like, what's it called? A letter and saying I'm being put on respite and basically it's where you go to another school and you have to like, be in that school for like a certain amount of hours, which is only four hours for me. And unfortunately, because I, they wanted me to go to, a, I don't know what it's called. This day where you go and like see where your new classroom is and stuff like that where in high school it's like kind of different and the year six is coming 
and then you like go on a trip or something like that but unfortunately tomorrow is Blackpool Pleasure Beach which would have been such an amazing vlog for you guys to see but unfortunately because I've been included I am not allowed to go however I do only have 22 behaviour points because they did give me 15 behaviour points and I should still be able to go but I'm not which is really disappointing because it is my last trip and I'm able to go on because I'm in year 11 next year and they do want me to go to Harrow Fold tomorrow and then say Ambrose Barlow Tuesday then Harrow Wednesday then Ambrose Barlow Thursday and then Harrow Friday oh, like it's just like Harrow Ambrose all like for the rest of this week and we can't do that because obviously Dan works and my mum works and that is just really difficult and then it just like takes up a lot of petrol and everything and so we, we can't like be going to Harrop one day and then traveling a bit further to St Ambrose Barlow it is just not like possible and so mum's like made the decision for me not to go and it says I have to go but then I'm not gonna go because I'm saying I am never going to Harrop forward I hate that school it's an awful school I think but like, some people obviously may think it's a good school and I've got nothing against Harrop forward because I've obviously never been but like there are people there who don't like me but then I can't say I don't like them because I know them and I know them I don't know them but like that is what like that is what annoys me like people like just judge me because like the things like have happened or like people spread rumors and then people just believe those rumors that are not like not true and then then it leads like me to getting bullied and that's one of the reasons why I didn't want to also go to Harrow Fold because like there are so many rumors that people have spread around that school and i don't even go to that school so like why are they so bothered in someone who doesn't even go to that school i don't know ambrose by the way I've, there are a few people that i actually know my cousin goes there and my godmum's son goes there dara <laughs> got it right i keep calling declan i don't know but declan's his younger brother and yeah he goes there so i wouldn't actually mind going to that school but i do kind of mind going to harrop but i'm not going because i'm just not going <laughs> Because my mum said, like, she doesn't want them to mess me around, like, going to one school and then another school. Unless they're going to pick me up and then take me there, then that's when I'll be going. But then, to be honest, I probably would just cry because I don't want to go to a school that I don't feel comfortable in. And just, just, yeah. And I know my friend Alexine and she, she gets bullied so much in that school. It is so bad. And, like, I really want to help her, but, like, it's really hard to help someone, like you don't really talk to that much but yeah so i'm just gonna sit here and wait for this to dry and i'll be back guys so guys it has been around maybe 10 15 minutes now and some of it has actually started to dry it kind of it feels really horrible I'm just gonna try and like peel off the bits that are dry oh it does like it does hurt i don't think it'd be good for like getting rid of your paws and stuff like that but, like it's it's still okay like it just feels really horrible i think actually i'm going to do the what's it called the cotton bud like doing your eyebrows with a cotton bud for a separate video because i feel like this video is like already really long and by the time i probably finish peeling this off it's probably going to be at least like 10 minutes long and i don't want them to be really long this video is going to go up on maybe tuesday yeah, Tuesday, because videos I've just filmed will be going up tonight. So basically, I don't, like, spend ages, like, uploading my vlogs. Ew. It's so horrible. Ew, it's actually stuck in my hair. I'm such an ambitious person as well. Like, if I know I can't do something on something, it's practically impossible. Like, I will try, like, so hard to just make it happen. You know what I mean? Like. Oh, this is so horrible. I'm gonna actually leave this to dry for another five minutes. I am not getting my hair dryer out and using the hair dryer because this is like so annoying. <laughs> I might go outside in a bit after I film this video and go see Archie and Betsy and Vicky because I haven't seen them for like maybe two days or something like that. And also, I'm going to actually ask my mum if I can go out with my dad tomorrow because if if I'm not obviously going to those things in school, then I won't ask to go out with my dad because there's no point me staying in all day if I'm doing absolutely nothing and it's so boring. And I still have the six-week holidays yet. Like, 
six week holidays like i am not looking forward to that at all so no like i can't bear being off for a month for five six i cannot bear for being off for a month and two weeks like doing absolutely nothing because unfortunately i'm not going on holiday this year we're supposed to be going to devon but my granddad isn't like feeling very well which is fine and we wouldn't go without him anyway because it was like our plan to go with him and he loves that place like so much and unfortunately he's not feeling very well so we can't go but like there's going to be like so many other like cool amazing things it's my birthday coming up soon guys and yeah i'm also thinking of doing this swap box with ruby very very soon guys so it is definitely going ahead we don't know what our budget should be but like i feel like it like i don't know like <laughs> i don't know because i've never really done like a swap box before and yeah it'll be like my very first collab on this channel but i know you guys really love gymnastics videos and just yeah so i'm gonna wait for this to dry for another like maybe 10 20 minutes to half an hour and i will check back with you guys because this feels so horrible i hate it already so guys so i've been waiting maybe 20 minutes it has like all dried it's a little bit sticky around this area <sighs> just had a massive problem with the oobleck right so i put it on my bed because i was just cleaning up and it literally all like dripped out and that's what's so annoying about it being a liquid and a solid and it went all over my bed so i've just had to change like my bed sheet cover and put some new bottoms on because oh man it's all over so guys it's just dried a bit now like you can see like it's still a bit wet there and on my forehead but it's like i've got a milk moustache <laughs> Well, that actually hurts a tiny bit. Do you know when you say, ow, that hurts, but then it doesn't hurt? Like, it's not an unbearable pain, this. Like, it's fine. It's literally, it's like someone probably like poking you. <laughs> but it's not that bad. Ew, it feels so horrible. Something about it is like the tiniest bit side swinging. Like maybe it's fully dry, but I don't have the time to wait. This is probably one of the most boringest videos guys you're ever gonna watch. <laughs> like it's not like whether it's boring or not, it's like the time I've actually took to film it and like how how long it's took to edit. Because I bet this is gonna take me around about an hour to edit. And I've barely done anything. I've got a little tug down here by the way guys if you're wondering why am I putting it all over my bed. <laughs> also guys, the update on Chris the Chris, the Ingram family situation, I have no idea about anything. Like I feel really bad for him because like everyone's accusing him of doing things and all that stuff. And like everyone's looking out for him and all of that. Oh it's kind of dry now. Everyone's looking out for him, so we all love you, Chris. And if you don't know what's going on, just like go, just type in Chris Ingle, and there's so many YouTubers that have done like videos about him that are like not even true, and it's like it's awful, like it's really like horrible, and I feel so bad for him. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> if you just do it fast, it comes off like so much like quick. And yeah, but like, I feel like the vlogs, like, t I've noticed like two things. Like, for one, he's like not even in the vlogs, he only talks to like Isla, but like behind the camera, he's like filming like something. Like, filming Isla or Esme, like, you don't actually see his face, and you just see him in the background, that's it. And also, they are like, they're not like 20 minutes long, and but like, they've been like 13, 14 minutes long, which is really short, kind of, <laughs> which is quite short, and yeah like, i love sarah i love seeing sarah's face it's amazing but like i miss chris you know chris is like amazing but like, we all have his back and yeah but like, this girl 
he's been saying he has done these sort of things which he would never do because just just no that's not chris because i have met him before and he's a genuine guy he's like he's just so amazing and he'd do literally anything for like all of us and he's such a like helpful person and they do it so much that oh my face is really red now <laughs> they do so many things for charity and just it's it's like amazing but actually and they've only recently just hit 1 million subscribers which is a massive milestone they never even thought they'd get a thousand sub subscribers but like they've been doing it for like maybe two years two and a half years now which is just like incredible and yeah and she's only brought up when they've hit like two million subscribers and apparently she had like messages on um on her on her twitter that he had sent her but like she had deleted them well if she deleted them then it can't be true then is it if it's true she needs loads of evidence to back it up but like obviously she's probably like she was a fan and then she got like a picture with them and then apparently she messaged to like meet up with them and they they was like yeah sure and she met up with them and then like she tried to mention him about eight o'clock and he didn't talk until like 12 o'clock at night apparently asking her to uh, come and meet me sneak out your room and all that which chris would never ever do like what on earth like yeah just go check out some of those vlogs but they're not true so if you're an england family fan i would advise you not to ow because i was absolutely devastated when i heard about it and it's just awful how so many youtubers are just like doing those videos they're making it worse by making the videos and yeah and it's not nice for esme isla and isabel because they're gonna get like the backlash of it all and they might like start to get bullied and stuff which is not okay because i am backing them on like a million percent so it's kind of off like on my bottom face now guys see i'm kind of glad i'm not doing my eyebrows as well as this video would have been like 20 minutes long and it's not that interesting to see me peel off so i'm gonna peel the rest of this off guys and just yeah so guys this is the finished product that's really funny actually just turn the camera off and then it was literally like all of my face apparently well apparently not apparently like there are bits of it in my hair so guys um i don't feel like it's done anything at all do not put glue on your face guys it's very annoying to get off so guys thank you so so much for watching this video it has been really amazing um make sure you click the subscribe button and subscribe to my youtube channel and there's gonna be a super awesome giveaway once we have hit a thousand subscribers guys bye